Andrea and I are Master of Architecture students at Columbia University. Architecture school generates a lot of really actionable ideas that can make a big impact. However, it's actually really rare that an idea is developed after the semester ends. Ideas are actually, in architecture school, usually presented through images. I have a background in engineering. So as an engineer, when you have an idea, you figure out how it works, how to make it, and how to test it. Andrea and I have spent the last couple of months taking an idea that we had in architecture school to the next level by figuring out the technicalities of how to manufacture it and also how to show it to people and represent it. So it started last January. We were both in a design studio that began two weeks after the earthquake in Haiti. And Andrea and I focused our project on redesigning disaster relief aid to better serve people in emergency situations. In mere minutes, hundreds of thousands of people were injured and millions of people were made homeless and forced to live in tent cities. Andrea and I read and heard about the dangerous conditions in the tent cities at night and how people lacked resources for safety and survival. Light is actually a very basic need that we often take for granted. And we realized in our research how important life is, how important life is to improving safety and living conditions for these people. Additionally, 1.6 people across the globe lack access to stable electricity. Many of these people are forced to rely on dangerous and toxic kerosene lamps as their primary source of light. The idea for the project is called the solar light pillow. The solar light pillow has a small solar panel, three LEDs, and a rechargeable battery. The project proposes an alternative to kerosene lanterns that is sustainable and also an easily deployable disaster relief aid. So as part of our initial research, Anna and I looked at the comparable existing small-scale solar products. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. And so we had to ask the question, does this picture really need another product into the mix? We knew we wanted to design, design something that would add value to this picture, and something that would be flexible, adaptable, and ultimately more universally affordable. And so our big simple idea is this. Because the solar light pillow is inflatable, it packs and ships flat. For every eight solar flashlights, you can pack and ship 50 solar light pillows. The other kind of logic we apply to our thinking is something we like to call here and there. So basically the same fundamental product can be used by somebody who is camping or in outdoor recreation, as well as a replacement for a kerosene lamp in an emerging market. The image on the right is, an, is a picture of our prototype in a marketplace in Lagos, Nigeria. And just to speak a little bit more about designing for disaster relief, Rahm Emanuel said in a talk a few years ago, you should never let a serious crisis go to waste. He was actually referring to the energy crisis from the 70s and 80s, but we like to adapt that line of thinking to better define our role as designers for disaster relief. And basically to recognize that we're dealing with extreme and complex situations, and these situations are best served by simple solutions. Additionally, people who have just survived humanitarian tragedies and natural disasters deserve to have their needs met more than anyone else. I actually have a background in architecture, and I spent two years working in a large architecture firm designing skyscraper projects for corporate clients. While these projects had their own challenges, the clients could pretty much afford to pay for any of the design features that we proposed. Working on a project like the Solar Light Pillow Project gives me a greater sense of optimism that good and smart design can actually happen precisely because resources are at their most limited, as they are in the case of natural disasters. So we're currently sending out 50 of our first prototypes to places like Haiti, Ghana, and Nigeria. As you see here, we propose that it can be used in many different situations, and so over the next couple of months, we'd like to scale up that effort from 50 to 500. When we talk to people about this idea, a lot of people express their surprise at how different the solar light pillow looks in comparison to its predecessors. In our minds, however, it is really quite simple, and that's the point that we want to achieve affordability and flexibility through pursuing a simple design idea. Thank you.